and welcome back to another one of my cryptocurrency update videos and I'm gonna cover XDC today just because um, I haven't done it in a couple of days I'm trying to alternate between the different coins I cover so I'm not exactly repeating myself every single day if that makes sense but sometimes I will cover it every day it just depends how I'm feeling and the time that I have because very busy packing and moving at the moment anyway so I'm gonna start on the weekly time frame just because I felt like it really so on the weekly time frame, it looks like we're going to be heading to this previous support here, which is very, very strong on the weekly. Really strong, got a nice good few touches here. One, two, three, four touches of support, nearly five. I mean, obviously, if we... That would be fine, because if you can see here, that would create a very big... I <laughs> didn't draw that very well, but a huge W pattern here, which is a very bullish pattern. It's a bottoming out structure, and it means we are going to head up, basically. Obviously, we need to be breaking this area for a W pattern to be like def like a definite. Yeah, that's a W pattern. It needs to break the neckline basically before we can say, yep, it's going to work 100%. Obviously, right now on the weekly, we are kind of in like a, an uptrend actually. I'm going to change that. So we are in an uptrend and even if we come here, we're still in an uptrend if we even come down to here. So we could get stopped out anywhere down here and we're still making a higher low compared to here. So, I mean, that'd be brilliant, you know, we'd, we'd still be continuing an uptrend and it's easy and we're on our way and that's perfect. But obviously it doesn't always work out like that. So we could come down to this level here at 0.046 cent, which I have been saying that I think that is where we're going to come. Um on the weekly time frame, on all the time frames, obviously, but especially on the weekly, you can see here, if we lose a low, we go to the next low, which is here on this line. So it makes perfect sense, right? Let's add some fibs on. And that, if, if we do come down here, that'll take us around to the one fib level, which is exactly where you go once you lose the 0618 here. Obviously, if we can hold here on the 786, come back up to 0 to 0.075 cent and get above, then yeah, we're on our way up. We made like a small W pattern and we're good for continuation um but it looks like we're going to be heading down to here this area or this area here it's like a little box to be honest because i could add it's more of an area rather than a specific price so we could be coming down into this area here i mean obviously we could even consolidate in between this whole area the 786 and the one because we've got you know, a lot a bit of consolidation here we could do the same here before continuation but i think this area is going to be key this small area just here Obviously, hopefully then the moving averages can come down and we can start getting a back above them because that's when I'm going to be confident as well that we're going up. Because you can see here, every time we respected the 20 moving average, we were staying above it, we were going up, you know, coming back to retest, up, retest, up. And then in this retest, we failed to come underneath, use it as resistance, and now we're heading down because our 20 moving average, remember, is like a, tre a trend line as such, um, if that makes sense. Obviously, if we're losing the one here, we're going to the 1618 down here, which I don't think we're going to go to. That would be really negative, be a definite downtrend and like bear market territory, which I don't think we're going to come down to a 0 to 0 16 cent. But obviously, it's a possibility if we really do lose this area here. That's why I put a box there, because it's more of an area rather than a certain level. Anyway, let's have a look on the daily. So on the daily, just ignore this for now, this ascending triangle we're going to talk about that on the four hour just so we can see that clearer um but yeah we had our head and shoulders we hit our target which was somewhere around here which makes sense it's a downwards pattern it's a bearish pattern so it makes sense you know we've got a low here a lower low so yeah we are in a downtrend at the moment when we're looking to break that downtrend we need to change that trend up and we need to switch it, switch it up basically um so whether that's coming down to here and heading back up let's add some fibs anyway here swing high again 1618 lines up perfectly with this area here that i think we are going to come to so we've got two very significant fib targets that are lining up at exactly the same area which is great confluence that we probably are going to head down there so great buying opportunity of course not financial advice but it is in my opinion um take with that information as you will but we have to see how it reacts to this level once we get down here we need to see how it reacts obviously we're getting quite a nice pump now for the day it's the start of the day still, so we could end up rejecting that. Um, but we'll see how this end of the day plays out. We've got a bearish candlestick here, which to the top means you are going to drop, but we've kind of switched it up there. So we, maybe we're coming back to retest this area before coming down to this level. 
I wish we could just get it done and over with as quickly as possible, but it's taken its sweet, sweet time, that's for sure. And finally, to the four hour, I'll just read you a price for that 0618, for that 1618. So yeah, exactly the same, 0 0.048 cent there we need to be, or if we can get back above 0 0.065 cent then yeah, breaking above the ascending triangle, making it positive, getting back above 0 0.618 would be amazing, but a long time till we get there guys. And finally, four hour time frame, just to take a look at this ascending triangle which has broken to the downside, and we have pretty much hit, if I can just make this exactly perfect, there we go. Yeah, we've pretty much hit the bottom of that target. So we have a technical target here. So it looks like now we've kind of tiny W pattern here, but only up to this previous level. We're kind of retesting to continue down, in my opinion. Normally, when you break, because we've broken above the 20 move and average, and that's a good sign. But normally, if you're more in a downtrend, which we most certainly are right now, in a downtrend, normally what happens is... Um, if you come above the 20 you're going to head to the 55 next and what can happen here is we can either hit it and get completely rejected and come back into our downtrend again or what can happen is you can hit it get above and reverse the trend heading up to 200 moving average which would obviously be amazing breaking above this bullish pattern here the bullish pattern has failed so we're still in this downtrend however we need to see what happens for the end of the day are we going to have a short term up we don't know at the moment obviously i'm not biased either way i'm just reading the charts um exactly i mean transparent with you guys so we need to wait for the next four hours to happen i think we're going to reject it at zero dot zero six cent but obviously keep an eye on that price if we're rejecting it then we know what's going to happen if we're not rejecting it then maybe we have a chance of breaking back into this triangle pattern so yeah guys that is pretty much it <laughs> excuse me i can add a little fib here to see what's going on Oh, hang on. Drag that out. Perfect. So it's a very small fib, but positive signs. We have got a back above the one. So, and look, zero six one eight. That's our next target when you come back above the one, and that where the fifty five lines up. So very key area here. So keep an eye on this price here, to the left, six zero zero six zero cent, because that's where our zero six one eight lines up. So we're going to be waiting for something to happen at this price here. So yeah, that's all I've got to say today, guys. Just subscribe to my channel. I really want to get to 200 subs by the end of the month. So quite a big goal there, but we can do it. Like the video and comment down below. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. <laughs>